here we are talking about rep ranges. So in traditional programming, you normally do three sets, 10, 12, 15 reps, whatever that volume is. Now, if you're only ever doing that type of rep count or set count, you're missing what you call muscular endurance. So on this bicep exercise, which I don't like doing a lot of isolation movements for the biceps, but in a high rep, low weight scenario where I'm doing 30 reps, maybe 40 reps in one movement, what we're doing is we're really increasing the fuel tank, the gas tank of that particular muscle fiber. Now why would muscular endurance be important? Well, if you're trying to get stronger and you run out of grip fatigue because you don't have enough endurance, enough stamina in that muscle fiber, again, we're not going to be able to lift heavy or lift often or able to recover from that movement. So again, don't be afraid to do high volume training. And when I'm talking, I don't know how many reps I've done. You just want to go sometimes training to failure until you can't do any more movements. And that is high volume rep ranges. So on the opposite side of high rep training uh, for an isolation muscle fiber, like the biceps, we have cheap reps uh, and forced negatives as well. So it's the counter towards high endurance or high rep training where the technique is slightly, you have to cheat the technique because it's so heavy that I need a wee bit of an assist through the movement. Now, as you can see, that is very labored and it wouldn't be classified as technical, good, clean reps. But if you want the biceps to get stronger, it has to be through a weight that challenges the muscle fiber. So this is why, again, we're only gonna do five, six reps of this with a weight that you can't concentrically curl. Like I can't do a concentric movement, strict. I have to cheat it up and fight the negative. Remember what the, the negative, the eccentric, eccentric load does that destroys muscle fiber. So again, if you want to develop higher end strength, cheap reps, forced eccentrics, overload training is a fantastic way to train as well.